so hello everyone good afternoon i hope i'm audible and visible to all of you please give me a quick thumbs up uh, nana samira dr tarik rameshwar kel srishti abhi everybody give me a quick thumbs up if my audio video is fine to all of you chalo ji now we have a very interesting session of one liners in dermatology uh, uh it is also like all time favorite of all the exams whether it is neat pg ini cd you always get uh, you know like so many one liners in your exam so for taking care of that uh, we have planned two sessions of one liners today and tomorrow uh, i hope uh, this will be very very beneficial to all of you tomorrow i might take this session a little early at 10 am i hope that is fine with all of you please give me a thumbs up if 10 am is fine tomorrow for this particular session amazing so welcome everybody uh, till the others join let me uh, <clears throat> upload the file okay ji amazing so let's begin with the today's session we have a lot of new batches which are about to start and let me introduce that also and dr cheshta agarwal your neat pg educator on an academy and i hope you all are aware about me i teach dermatology on this platform now uh, you are on the best online platform for preparation of any sort of pre pg entrance examination and that is neat pg you must be aware about this by now because we are giving you a lot of uh, you know results ranks uh, and all the students are appreciating the effort made here by all the educators uh, now uh, we we provide two type of subscriptions one is plus which give you an access to live classes of an academy it give you an access to around 25000 plus questions which are available on the platform and it also give you printed notes if you take it for one year and longer on an academy we have something known as iconic subscription which actually give you an access to both an academy and prep ladder i think everybody knows about prep ladder already so in iconic subscription you will be getting an access of an academy and prep ladder all together along with that of the printed notes and all the features of both the platforms so i request all of you to please try getting uh, yourself enrolled either into plus or iconic we have a highly updated and effective question bank of 25000 plus questions which includes detailed explanation also uh, now for this month we have kept two test or two grand test mock test one is for fmg that is on 17th 10 am and another is ini ct that is also 17th that is tomorrow at 2 pm so i request all my dear students to please be live for these free test you can enroll it using the referral code cheshta10 so just put this code you don't have to pay because they are absolutely free okay ji so absolutely free but you just need to put a code to unlock these free classes now these are some of our uh, top uh, students who have performed very well in their last exam and i want you also to trust like these students have done to trust an academy so that we can help you achieve your goal and to easy or ease your pathway for uh, you know pre pg preparation we also have a feature of raise a hand where you have if you have any difficulty or if you have any doubt you can directly ask your doubt to an educator like in one to one interaction there are many new batches which are about to start so the batches uh, which are scheduled for 20th october is neat pg batch i request everybody to please be a part of it for this neat pg batch uh, which will cover the whole 19 subjects over a period of 6 month then we have a new batch of clinical discussion and instrument so this is a new concept where the clinical cases will be discussed the instrument will be discussed like a uh, you know like a ward uh, exams or like a ward the teaching now we have uh, two type of subscriptions as i have told you iconic the price of iconic is uh, we give it for 12 month and longer longer the subscription lesser will be the per month cost and if you use my code cheshta10 you will get additional 10% discount okay ji and for plus we have shorter subscriptions of 3 month 6 month and longer the subscription again the lesser will be the price using the referral code cheshta10 will give you additional 10% discount okay so let's begin with the today's session i hope everyone is ready i'll not give you much time uh one minute uh, 30 seconds per question i will be giving you so please make this class little uh, you know fast so that we can do maximum possible questions <clears throat> very easy question those who have attended my plus course this is a very easy question very nice amazing all of you 
all are the causes of primary acantholysis except herpes darius disease hailey hailey disease or pemphigus so all are the causes of primary acantholysis except can you tell me what do you mean by primary acantholysis and what do you mean by secondary acantholysis anybody here can tell me the answer anyone can tell me what is the difference between uh, yes ravi this is a one hour session this is a one hour session anyone can tell me the difference please remember acantholysis means separation of the keratinocytes separation of keratinocytes theek hai ji keratino sites in primary the reason for separation is the disruption of desmoglein desmoglein disruption while in secondary the cause for separation is damage to keratinocyte damage to keratinocyte so please remember all my dear students please remember all my dear students for primary acantholysis the causes are darius disease hailey hailey disease and pemphigus while for secondary the causes herpes clear all of you everyone will give me a quick thumbs up if you understood this so herpes is an example of secondary acantholysis where the separation is due to damage to keratinocytes clear i hope this is a very easy question uh, so yes first question is usually easy for everyone chalo ji let's move to the next question school of fish appearance is seen or is shown by which of the following sexually transmitted disorders reena rp tejashwini everybody is welcome lily renolazin dr f then we have shiva in in sam aarti navin Saira, Aruna, Shweta, Dr. Ansari, Nitin, Jaitlal, Namita, all of you, all of you, and the remaining students also, all of you, welcome. Uh, Samira, I have already started the poll. I don't know why you are not able to see it. Can you just refresh it from your end? Please remember the correct answer is school of fish is a feature of Haemophilus ducre. And can you tell me what is the name given to the ulcer which occurs secondary to Haemophilus ducre infection? What is the name given to the ulcer? It is known as soft canker. Very nice. Soft canker or chancroid. Soft canker or chancroid. School of fish or railroad track appearance. School of fish or railroad. uh ma'am to not being able to see same samira so uh you are not able to see the poll that is what you are trying to tell me rp and samira i request you to please refresh it from your end because if the issue is from my side nobody uh, should have got the poll so if you are not getting it from your end try to refresh it maybe because of internet connection you are not able to see it theek hai i hope rest all of you can see them theek hai aage badhe okay fine amazing good tell me the answer of this question which component of cement causes allergic contact dermatitis straight forward aata hai to aata hai nahi aata to nahi aata there is no hint given in the question so these are the beauty this is the beauty of one liner questions nahi aayega to you cannot use even a simple or a single tukka because uh, there is nothing in the question which can help you get to the diagnosis okay so i can see that majority of you are wrong 59% of you have marked the question incorrect okay the those students who have marked it correct we have ravi rameshwar aruna avi sarita saf goda jetlal dr shalini then we have suman insam samira namita faith dr uh, kiran and mazibur dr f now can you tell me nickel is a component of cement no nickel is a common adulterant which is used in metal so please remember potassium dichromate should be the answer theek hai rata nahi jata but raj there are few things which you have to remember there is no other way to remember it there is no mnemonic for this but few things see one liners that is why uh, you know i i always try to revise it so many times so please remember nothing to mug up potassium dichromate for cement clear all of you please give me a quick thumbs up if this is clear and a frequently asked question so you can get this question again in your exam so please remember this next question is on your screen
in which of the following condition carpet tech sign is c in which of the following condition carpet tech sign is c very well done raj sweet pallav very nice and amazing in which of the following condition the carpet tech sign is c in which of the following condition carpet tech sign is c lupus pernio discoid lupus erythematosus dermatomyositis or lupus vulgaris please remember what is carpet tech sign in the patients of dle what happens they have thick scales on the skin surface now what happens the thick scales which are present on the skin surface sometime they invaginate into the follicular osteas they enter inside the follicular osteas and when you remove these scales you can see that there are some projections which are present on the under surface of these scales and these projections give it a carpet tech or a cat tongue sign understood or not please give me a thumbs up if you understood what is a carpet tech and a cat tongue sign which is a classical feature of discoid lupus erythematosus it is not a feature of sle it is a feature of dle which is chronic cutaneous le okay it is a feature of chronic cutaneous le or discoid lupus erythematosus amazing all of you uh, what about the kematin i am not able to understand what does it mean <clears throat> now you solve this question very nice ravi rashmi dr tarik shweta Which of the following is the most common type of psoriatic arthritis? Classic psoriatic arthritis, mutilens, asymmetrical oligoarthritis, or symmetrical polyarthritis? Again, only 35% of students have answered this question. Only 35%. Please remember, first, psoriasis is very important question, and second, this is a frequent repeat. If you are marking a frequent repeat question wrong, beta, this is a very high time when you start. preparing okay so please remember you cannot make mistakes in pyqs at least be confident in your pyqs because see the majority of the questions will be either direct pyq or from the same topic so if you are not able to solve the previously repeat question then uh, you know it's very difficult to get a good score in your exam understood all of you all the 55 students those who are right now live with me remember pyqs to karna hi hai ठीक है एंड यस डॉक्टर तारिक यू आर राइट सोराइटिक अर्थराइटिस अकर्स इन अराउंड 5% ऑफ द टोटल सोराइटिक पेशेंट इट हैज फाइव टाइप्स क्लासिकल आर्थराइटिस न्यूटिलेंस एसिमेट्रिकल ऑलिगोआर्थराइटिस सिमेट्रिकल पॉलीआर्थराइटिस एंड डीआईपी ओनली सो दीस आर द फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ अर्थराइटिस सीन इन द पेशेंट ऑफ सोराइसिस एंड द कॉमनेस्ट बीइंग एसिमेट्रिकल ऑलिगोआर्थराइटिस asymmetrical oligoarthritis is there any confusion om and raj is there any confusion uh, what do you mean by 72 is there any confusion with the percentage please remember in a patient of psoriasis you only get psoriatic arthritis in 5% of patient only in 5% of patient of psoriasis you will see psoriatic arthritis okay so 72 students are watching okay okay so i am not able to see the current list okay understood okay i thought you are telling me that ma'am 72% psoriatic patients pe psoriatic arthritis hota hai okay okay chalo okay fine so come back a uh, lot of fun uh, now the next question is on your screen all of the following are the cells of epidermis except फटाफट से आंसर करो यू हैव 30 सेकंड्स व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ सेल ऑफ एपिडर्मिस दैट इज व्हाट इज बीइंग आस्क्ड हियर ओके जी अमेजिंग अमेजिंग किरैटिनोसाइट्स मेलानोसाइट्स मास सेल्स और मार्कल सेल्स व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ सेल ऑफ एपिडर्मिस अगेन आई वाज एक्सपेक्टिंग 100% आंसर दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन यार डर्मेटोलॉजी के फर्स्ट डे आई टीच दिस ओनली सो 
anybody who have not attended my dermatology class it's a high time go back and subscribe to an academy use this referral code you can take a short subscription of three months see an academy is uh, good in a lot of ways first an academy give you an opportunity to attend all the current and past courses so there is no foundation here that if you take a subscription now you can only attend the courses which happens now or afterwards you can attend all the previous courses also so if you want you can just go and see a past course you can see the course of multiple educators that is all is something which is not given to you by any other online platform and i request everybody to please utilize this okay Chalo. So epidermis has four cells, keratinocytes, it is the majority, which is around 80 to 90. Then we have melanocyte, which is the pigment forming cell. Then we have Merkel cell, which is the touch receptor. And then we have Langerhan cell. Then we have Langerhan cells, which is the antigen presenting cells. Yes, I can see Om that you are a plus subscriber. And yes, you can also add, uh, you know, ask the other students to take it because only when you take it, then you'll able to know that what is awesome in an academy. Okay, so try to take it for a shorter uh, duration if you want. Try to take it for a shorter duration. And if you want, or you can take it for a longer also, because if you take it for one year, you get printed notes. With shorter subscription, printed notes are not available. So if you are taking for six months, you can go for one year so that you get all the teachers of an academy. Chalo ji, badia. Now let's go to this next question. Yes, okay ji, badia. Chemical agent responsible for contact leukoderma caused by adhesives in the bindi is. Now, you, you must have seen ladies with whitish discoloration over this part. Or eczema also is very, very visible over this part. Very frequently in the females, uh, middle-aged females who, who tend to use a lot of bindis. Okay. Very nice, Ravi, Sarita, Shaitaj, Raj, Ambuj, Nana, Rameshwar, Rutvi, Dr. Surya, Shweta, Abhi, Aarti, Saf. Uh, all wear bindi. Why only some develop leukoderma? Because they are sensitive to it. Now, please remember, there are, see, everybody have maids in their house or they, they themselves wash the clothes or the utensils but why only few people develop allergic contact dermatitis to these uh, soaps or detergents because they are predisposed to it either they have a defective barrier so more entry or they have hypersensitive immune system so even with minor allergen they are generating more response so anything is possible that is depending upon the genetic makeup of that patient understood rp Okay, so it happens like I cannot wear bindi because I soon as soon as I wear bindi, I start developing itching. So that is no, no, none of my relatives, my mother, my sister, nobody has this problem. I have it. So it, it depends upon patient to patient, right? Like similarly, now diabetes, like in a same family, nobody else have diabetes, but few people get it. Okay, so it is not directly proportional to heredity. It depends upon the genes or a particular uh, genetic makeup as well. Okay, chalo. so the chemical responsible for the adhesive is PTBP. And what is PTBP? It is para tertiary butyl phenol. Para tertiary butyl phenol. Para tertiary butyl phenol. It is the name of the chemical which is present in the bindi adhesives. Chalo ji, badia. Let's answer the next question. Pseudo bubo is seen in direct question. Aata hai to aata hai, nahi aata to wrong. So pseudo bubo is seen in chancroid, LGV, dodomanosis or syphilis. Anybody can tell me the answer. Very nice. Saif, Taufik, Dr. Tarik, Rashmi, Sarita, uh, Saira, Deva, Ambuj, Aruna, Raj, Akash, Renolazine, Rameshwar, Abhi. Very well done. All my dear students. Pseudo bubo is a very, very classical feature seen in the patients of dodomanosis. Again, one very important point, if anybody in my class is targeting INICP and who may and he or she has made this question wrong, please think twice. Bina STDK, without STD, you cannot attend INICP. 
last year or last to last INICT had 50% of the total derma question from STD. Six questions from STD, if an exam can give you, that topic becomes very important. Same thing for FMGE students also. And definitely need PG mein to aata hi hai. So anyone here, if they are missing on STD, please do attend my classes. I have taken a detailed STD class recently and I will be taking it soon. So please subscribe to an academy. Very, very important. Any confusion? I can see one confusion wala smiley. What is pseudobubo? Please remember donovanosis, which is because of granuloma inguinal, which is because of granuloma inguinal, or what is the another name? It is Kelimetobacteria, Kelimetobacteria granulomatis. Now, what happens? This organism, granulomatis, it do not affect the lymph nodes directly, or it do not spread through lymphatics. And bubo means inflammation of the lymph nodes. Now, why it is called as pseudo bubo? Because sometimes over the donovanosis infection, you get secondary bacterial infection. And in that case, you can have development of lymph node enlargement. But it is not because of donovanosis, it is because of secondary bacterial infection. And that is why we have termed it as pseudo bubo. So pseudo bubo is very, very important. Not included in STD kit. I'm not able to understand what does it mean, Sarita. You treat donovanosis patient by genital ulcer differentials. I hope you remember. Okay, so Rameshwar, black is for bubos. Okay, but donovanosis, you will be treating the patient under the genital ulcer kit. Three, four, five, if you remember. 3 and 4 is for non-herpetic ulcer. So you will give either 3 or 4 in donovanosis. Okay. Is it there? Yeah, that is what I am trying to tell you, Sarita. What is kit number 3? Sarita, can you tell me the answer? Kit number 3 is for what? Kit number 3 is for non-herpetic genital ulcer. And what are the non-herpetic genital ulcers? What are the DDs of non-herpetic genital ulcers? You have syphilis you have chancroid you have lgv and you have donovanosis please remember not herpetic genital ulcer can be any of them so kit number three and kit number four both can be used to treat donovanosis and aruna green kit is for what is it for the herpetic uh, it is, is it for the genital ulcer no, green color kit is for vaginal discharge. Again, requesting, please do attend the plus courses. Do not think that only attending the special class will make us strong. No, you need to attend this session in detail. Take your subscription today using my code and start practicing. Okay, ji? Promise you all. Chalo, ji. Let's, let's move to the next question. Let's move to the next question. Which of the following is the most specific sign of male psoriasis? <clears throat> Which among the following is the most specific sign of male psoriasis? Which of the following is the most specific sign of male psoriasis? Okay, now first tell me one thing. How many percent of psoriatic patient will develop nail changes? Can you tell me the answer? Anybody here? How many percentage of psoriatic patient will develop nail changes? Abhi 5% mein kiske liye bataya tha? For which I told you 5%? It was psoriatic arthritis. Okay, so psoriatic arthritis will occur in 5% of psoriatic patient. But the nail changes are seen in more and the average or the ratio or the percentage lie from 10 to 50 percent. Okay. So you can have up to 50 percent of the patients developing nail feature. Understood the difference, Abhi and Ravi? Both of you give me a thumbs up. The most common nail feature is pitting and the most specific nail feature is oil drop sign. Now, can you tell me oil drop sign is because of defect in nail plate nail bed or nail matrix can you tell me the answer where is the problem in oil drop sign nail plate nail bed or nail matrix 
anybody here so i got one option for nail bed one for nail matrix anyone can tell me oil drop sign mein problem kahan hota hai please remember in oil drop sign the problem is in nail bed it is in nail bed and in spitting of nail the problem is in nail matrix so you have to remember one thing that if anything happens to the nail matrix the nail plate will be deformed so what happens in pitting you have defective nail matrix so you see depressions in the nail plate understood or not these are all our exam questions i am not telling you or teaching you anything in detail these questions are being asked in your exam so please uh, you know be prepared for all sort of questions clear theek hai quickly give me a thumbs up and can you update me how many students are live with us right now anyone can give me matrix located in which part please remember matrix is present just below the proximal nail fold for example if this is your okay so or no like this uh, we are having a side view like this and uh, you have your nail plate which is present like this theek hai ji i hope you are understanding and we have a proximal nail fold which is like this so just beneath the proximal nail fold here we have nail matrix so the nail matrix cells are actually forming the nail plate understood all of you om uh, rp aruna samira everyone give me a quick thumbs up okay ji badhiya i hope this is clear hutchison syphilitic triad include all except can anyone answer this very very easy for your exam very nice dr rashmi kartik dr tarek shweta rameshwar so i think you all have stopped reading dermatology how many of you have never read dermatology can you raise your hand those who have never touched dermatology okay so i can see three or four okay are baap re there are five students who have never touched dermatology so what are you thinking like you want to leave this topic or leave this subject or uh, you are thinking of doing it later on any any opinion any comment on this <laughs> please do this subject okay please do this subject in this year neat pg in this year neat pg 13 questions yaar 200 mein se agar 13 questions aa rahe hain bhaiya isko chhod nahi sakte please remember out of 200 if you are getting 13 questions from a subject like dermatology it becomes very very important okay they may be in ug okay about to start so please start dr giri and everyone see if you are in third year student chalo fir bhi chalega but start as early as possible and if you are in your uh, you know internship right now or final year right now and if you have not touched dermatology hmm, it's something which is you know very scary for me chalo ji now hutchison syphilitic triad includes all except please remember it has notched incisors nerve deafness and interstitial keratitis please remember clutton joint is not seen clutton joint is not seen in hutchison syphilitic triad in hutchison syphilitic triad theek hai clear all of you and can you tell me where do you see hutchison syphilitic triad in which disease you see hutchison syphilitic triad anyone where and what is clutton joint ravi clutton joint means swelling of knee joint which is seen very classically in congenital syphilitic patient theek hai in congenital syphilitic patient you have swelling of knee joint थिकेस्ट लेयर ऑफ एपिडर्मिस इज थिकेस्ट लेयर ऑफ एपिडर्मिस इज स्टार्टम बेस हेल कॉर्नियम स्पाइनोजम और ग्रेनोज thickest layer of epidermis is stratum basal corneum spinosum or granulosa very nice nana dr priya shrishti dr tarik rutvi surya dr kiran uh, shwetali shweta sumam dr giri akash raj ambuj amazing all of you very well done please remember among all the layers of epidermis thickest is stratum spinosum and can you tell me any alternate name given to this layer anyone can give, tell me the alternate name given to this layer yes this is also known as prickle cell layer can you tell me what is the alternate name for stratum corneum anyone alternate name for stratum corneum 
Stratum corneum is called as stratum lucidum. No, that is wrong, Pooja. No. Stratum corneum is also known as horny cell layer because it is made up of enucleated cells like a horn cell. What is the another name for stratum basale? Stratum basale. What is the other name given to it? Yes, it is also called as stratum germinativum. And what is the another name given to stratum granulosum? What is the another name given to stratum granulosum? It is also known as granular cell layer. Also known as granular cell layer. Now, a very, very interesting question. Can you tell me which layer is stratum malpigian? Which layer is called as stratum malpigian layer? Anyone here? Dr. Tarik, Sarita. Then we have Dr. Shrishti, Taufik. Yes, please remember uh, stratum basale plus stratum spinosum. They both together, they are known as stratum malpigian. I hope this is clear to all my dear students. I hope this is clear to all my dear students. Should we go to the next question? Anyone has any confusion till here? No? Yes? Chalo. Aage badte. 30 seconds. Which of the following is a bacterial infection of the skin? Pyoderma gangrenosum, pemphigus neonatorum, impetigo or petiformis, or ichthyma contagiosum. Or ichthyma contagiosum. Amazing, all of you. Mohit, Aruna, Nana. Very well done. Only 8%? Okay. 7%? Eight percent. Okay, so only five students have given me uh, the answer. Mohit, Aruna, Nana, and I think RP. Only five students or four students have given me a correct answer. Okay, question is asking which of the following is the bacterial infection? Can you tell me what is pyoderma gangrenosum? Anybody here can tell me what is this pyoderma gangrenosum? What is this pyoderma gangrenosum? Yes. So, Dr. Tariq Ravi, you both are right. It is a neutrophilic dermatosis, which is seen very, very frequently in a patient with acute myeloid leukemias. So, it is not a bacterial infection. It is a neutrophilic dermatosis. Okay. Can you tell me what is impetigo herpetiformis? Have you heard about this term? What is impetigo herpetiformis? Very nice. It is pustular psoriasis or erythrodermic psoriasis of pregnancy. Amazing. Again, it is not a bacterial infection. What is ichthyma contagiosum? Anyone? What is ichthyma contagiosum? Ravi, Rameshwar, Tarek, Praveen, Bilal, Shadi. Can you tell me what is ichthyma contagiosum? It's a viral infection which occurs because of a parapox or for virus. No, it is not a sixth disease. What is sixth disease? Iridema infectiosum. It is not ichthyma contagiosum. Don't get confused with all these similar, similar words. It is a viral infection by ORF virus. And what is Pemphigus neonatorum? Pemphigus neonatorum is other name for Bullus impetigo. And what is Bullus impetigo? It is a bacterial infection of staph. Understood or not? Did you understand? Did you understand this question? Very, very easy, but they have given you all the misnomers here, all the misnomers here, and they have tried to ask you the answer. So please remember the alternate names for all the diseases. Can you tell me what is Dehering's disease in dermatology? What is Dehering's disease in dermatology? Can anybody tell me the answer? Dehering's disease, hum kisko bolte hai? What is Dehering's disease? Anyone? Rameshwar, uh, Tarek, Pooja, Aruna. Dering's disease is another name for dermatitis herpetiformis. Dermatitis herpetiformis. What is the another name for bone villi disease? What is the another name for bone villi disease? Anyone? No. Yes. Tuberous sclerosis. Neurofibromatosis shubangi is known as von reckling husens disease. Von reckling husens disease. Okay, Jay. Which of the following is the characteristic feature of atopic dermatitis? 
characteristic feature of atopic dermatitis very well done aruna lega abhi somam which of the following is the characteristic feature of atopic dermatitis pruritus denny's line scaling of the skin or rash please remember pruritus is a hallmark and it is said that if pruritus or if itching is absent you have to think something other than atopic dermatitis so for making a diagnosis of atopic dermatitis itching is must understood all of you please give me a thumbs up if you understood next is holster sign is a feature of discoid lupus erythematosus a uh, systemic lupus erythematosus dermatomyositis or localized scleroderma what is a holster sign which of the following is the holster sign okay so i will be showing you the image of what exactly is this holster because uh, there are many many students who always get confused uh, different slide different question is being i am not able to understand what is rp is trying to ask okay i hope you are able to see the questions and that is what is your doubt now what is holster holster is a uh, i i hope you have seen police in uh, policemen or you know those who work for the defense they have a special belt which has a holder for the gun okay which has a holder for the gun now ravi it is not the buttock it is the lateral thigh now i'm sharing the um, i'm sharing my screen all of you i'm sharing my screen for everybody to look at this now i hope you know what is a holster so this is a holster uh actually uh, somewhat like this this is a holster which which is like this can you see this photo can you see this photo all of you give me a yes if you see this photo yes take it so that is what is a holster where you can hold a gun or hold your gun now i will show you what happens in a patient of what happens in a patient of dermatomyositis uh, let me share my screen this part yes now can you share this uh, can you see this image everyone can you see this one yes so you can see that there is a rash which is typically present on the lateral part of your thigh upper part lateral part of the thigh exactly on the same site where there was a holster okay so because of the same site it is called as holster site nothing to do with the holster so please do not think that it occurs only in the uh you know only in the policemen or in the personnel of defense no that is not true it is called as holster because of its resemblance to the site of holster okay and it is a very classical feature of dermatomyositis a very classical feature of dermatomyositis i hope you have understood both the questions or both the images what whatever i was trying to tell you okay ji samajh gaye okay now coming to the next question early eruption of secondary syphilis can be all except so which is the which is the early eruption of secondary syphilis or which is not a early feature of secondary syphilis please remember all of you you can develop any type of lesion in a patient of secondary syphilis any type anywhere on the body because secondary syphilis is usually because of the blood spread but always remember two points that secondary syphilis patient will never have itching never and they will never have vesicles or bullet please remember other than this these patients can develop any sort of presentation papule pustule nodule anything but never vesicles and never itching understood this or not 
try to remember this because this point is frequently asked in your exam frequently asked in your exam understood chaloji badhiya which of the following is correctly matched toxin with its target protein causing staphylococcal scarlet skin syndrome exfoliative toxin desmoglein 1 toxic shock syndrome toxin desmoglein 3 leucosidin desmoglein 3 pyogenic and desmoglein 1 okay so only 45 students have given me the answer priya shetar somam ravi samira pooja tarik please remember the correct answer is option number 1 the staphylococcus releases a toxin exfoliative toxin which goes and bind to desmoglein 1 and that is why in a patient of staphylococcal scarlet skin syndrome you develop subcorneal split you develop a subcorneal split okay so in these patients you develop a subcorneal split uh, very well done everyone very nice can you tell me where do you see coral pink color of wood's lamp which of the following disease will show a uh, coral red fluorescence under the wood's lamp very nice ravi shetaj sarita pooja lega coral pink fluorescence is seen in please remember uh i don't know why it is not seen to you rp if my image is uh, hiding the uh, all the options you can move the image please remember all of you you get the option of moving my image to other corners you can do it yourself rp if the options are not visible theek okay? hai Yes, वैसे हो सकता है सो ट्राई टू मूव इट बिकॉज ऑन माई स्क्रीन माई फोटो इज शोइंग ऑन दी अपर राइट कॉर्नर इट इज शोइंग ऑन अपर राइट कॉर्नर ओके डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन इज बींग आई डोंट नो वॉट इज हैपनिंग आर पी वाई इट इज हैपनिंग मे बी योर इंटरनेट स्पीड इज नॉट अप टू दी मार्क ओके बिकॉज अदरवाइज देर विल बी नो सच इश्यू ठीक है सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दी कोरल पिंक फ्लोरसेंस इन दी ग्रोइंग रीजन on woods lamp examination as seen in erythrasma which is because of corine bacteria minutissimum minutissimum theek hai corine bacteria minutissimum okay ji fine fine so rp i want you to report this issue to the an academy tech team because if you are having that issue that will be very difficult for you to solve the questions so try to bring that in notice of an academy tech team maybe you you must be having some uh, numbers for the feedbacks or something like that so just go and ask them if you have if they have any issue because it is not faced by anyone else so maybe you need to uh, you know like you have to remove the app and re download it sometimes that that also helps okay ji okay now coming to the next question the following condition are the complication of streptococcal impetigo except scarlet fever post streptococcal glomerulonephritis rheumatic fever or erythema multiforme Oof. very nice abhi rashmi shrishti dr giri shwetali saif priya pooja sachi vidyananda dr kiran very well done it's again a very interesting question please remember the streptococcal strain which causes impetigo can never cause rheumatic fever never it can cause scarlet fever uh, psgn erythema multiforme but rheumatic fever is never seen secondary to the strain causing impetigo so please try to remember this because it has been asked very very frequently in your exam okay ji now can you tell me which of the following uh, is the wavelength of wood's lamp which is or what is the wavelength of wood's lamp 320 360 400 or 480 
please remember the wavelength of wood length is we have a mnemonic to remember and this is number of days in a year number of days in a year is a very easy way to remember the wavelength of wood length so it is 365 okay the exact answer is 365 but the closest here will be 360 nanometer clear all of you next question is on your computer screen commonest skin infection in children is scabies impetigo contagiosa molluscum or what which of the following is the commonest infection in children Which of the following is the commonest skin infection in children? Very nice, all of you. Please remember the commonest skin infection in children would be impetigo contagiosa, which is nothing but another name for non bullous impetigo. Can you tell me what is the commonest organism causing non bullous impetigo? Anyone? Very nice. Streptococcus. Rameshwar, it is streptococcus, not staphylococcus. Okay? It is streptococcus, which very, very commonly forms. Okay. Now moving to another question. Which of the following organism causes ichthyma gangrenosum? So we have just now read about ichthyma contagiosum. Ichthyma contagiosum was a viral infection. But ichthyma gangrenosum is a bacterial infection and it is seen secondary to pseudomonas. Can you tell me what will be the appearance of the lesion when it is seen under the woods lamp? What color will you see in ichthyma gangrenosum when you put the Woods lamp light? Anyone? Very nice. The answer is green color. Wherever you have pseudomonas, the color becomes green. And Abhi, can you tell me where do you see yellow color? It is not pseudomonas. Where do you see yellow color under Woods lamp? Anyone? Yes, it is Petriasis versicolor where you see yellow color. Volcano sign is a feature of Volcano sign is a feature of Volcano sign is a feature of please remember the answer is oriental sore or cutaneous leishmaniasis in cutaneous leishmaniasis you develop annular lesion with central crusting and that gives you an appearance so the lesion is somewhat like this so it gives you an appearance of a volcano crust in the center in duration surrounding it giving you an appearance of volcano so volcano sign becomes a feature of tuberculosis now, please tell me the answer which does not cause tenia capitis. So, I hope what is tenia? I hope everybody knows what is tenia. Tenia means dermatophytic infection. And dermatophyte are of three types trichosporum, microsporum, and epidermophyton. So, trichophyton, epidermophyton, or microsporum, these are the three species of dermatophyte. You have to tell me which species never cause tenia capitis, that is infection of the hair which of the following does not cause tenia capitis which does not cause tenia capitis trichophyton rubrum epidermophyton microsporum shaitaj ravi soman rameshwar Samira, Pooja, Dr. Priya, Abhi, Satish, 
अल्फाबेट आफ्टर ई कम्स एच एंड आफ्टर एम कम्स एन ओके so e will not affect hair and m will not affect nail can you remember it like this tri means it will affect all three epidermophyton will never affect hair and microsporum will never affect nail so trichophyton uh, will affect all three tinea capitis among the option provided the answer becomes option number 2 clear please give me a quick thumbs up all my dear students theek hai ji ओके जी अमेजिंग व्हाट इज धोबी एच व्हाट इज अ धोबी एच ओके वेरी नाइस रवि डॉक्टर तारिक शैताज देन वी हैव अभी डॉक्टर प्रिया समीरा रामेश्वर सृष्टि सैफ सरिता बिंदु नाना शबाना Dr. Surya, Pooja, very well done, all my dear students, very well done. Lavanya, Ambuj. Okay, dear. Now please remember the correct answer is Tinea cruris. Dhobi itch is actually another name for Tinea cruris, which is also known as jock itch. Okay, dear. Also known as jock itch. Okay. Asteroid bodies are seen in. Asteroid bodies is a histopathological finding, like a star-shaped bodies. Star-shaped bodies are seen there, somewhat like this. Star-shaped bodies or asteroid bodies are a feature of sporotrichosis, chromoblastomycosis, mycetoma, or dermatophytosis. Very nice, Shristi, Shweta, Dr. Tarek, Namita, Lega, uh, Sap, Swapna, Moy, Abhi, Aruna, Kartik. Shweta, Dr. F. Kill, Lavanya, Faith. Very nice. Please remember the correct answer is option number one. Can you tell me what is the name given to the body seen in chromoblastomycosis? Copper penny bodies, also known as medullar bodies, also known as sclerotic. Samadhi, please give me a thumbs up if you understood this point. Very very important for your exam. Very very important for your exam. Chalo ji. Which of the following organism causes botryomycosis? Which of the following organism causes botryomycosis? Ravi, Shetaj, Dr. Tarik, Shweta, Aruna, Dr. Surya, Swap, Swapna. बिंदिया सतीश सृष्टि ऋत्वी वेरी नाइस ऑल ऑफ यू वेरी वेल डन शुभांगी रेनोलाजीन तेजस्विनी इन सैम विच ऑफ दॉलोइंग ऑर्गेनिजम कॉजेज बॉट्रियोमाइकोसिस प्लीज रिमेंबर एवरी वन प्लीज रिमेंबर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर फोर Now please remember, botry mycosis is a misnomer. Why it is called as mycosis? Because clinically it resembles mycetoma. But botry means grape-like. When we examined the microscopy, we could see grape-like cocci, which are present in bundles. And please remember, the cocci in bundles they are classical feature of Staphylococcus. ठीक है इन स्टेफाइलोकोकस वी हैव कोकाय इन बंच व्हाइल इन स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस वी आर वी हैव कोकाय इन चेंज सो दैट इज हाउ यू डिफरेंशिएट देम माइक्रोस्कोपिकली ठीक है चलो व्हाट इज वागाबॉन्ड डिजीज व्हाट इज वागाबॉन्ड डिजीज वेरी नाइस शताज अभी डॉक्टर तारिक लेगा सैफ सृष्टि ऋत्वी इंसान रामेश्वर प्रिया राज
which is a vagabond disease i request all my students to please start preparing dermatology even if you are in third year uh, you know it's a time when you at least start it will help you in your final year exams or third year exams as well because your postings usually starts in third year and you get questions in, in your medicine your, from dermatology in your final year so start preparing it because it takes a little time when you do it for the first time so vagabond disease is an alternate name of pediculosis corporis it is an alternate name given to pediculosis corporis nodular scabies what is the common site what is the common site for nodular scabies very nice shaitaj abhi lega dr tarik then we have shweta dr priya renolazine bindyananda akash namita dr giri tejashwini aruna very well done all of you please remember the correct answer of this is the correct answer is option number 4 what is nodular scabies nodular scabies is actually uh, uh, it is a hypersensitivity reaction because of scabies patient tend to itch and on rubbing you develop little bit of fibrosis very commonly seen in the scrotum or the penile shaft that will give rise to small nodules and ulcers and that is known as nodular scabies for treating nodular scabies you sometimes need to give intralesional steroids as well okay so you sometimes need to give intralesional steroids most common type of cutaneous tb is most common type of cutaneous tuberculosis most common type of cutaneous tuberculosis is lupus vulgaris scrofuloderma tb verruca cutis now most common type of cutaneous tuberculosis is lupus vulgaris i have told you that vulgaris word whenever it comes it means the most common okay now for example if i change this question to most common type of cutaneous tuberculosis in children will the answer remain same or it it will change anyone how to differentiate between lupus vulgaris from tinea there is no comparison lupus vulgaris is cutaneous tuberculosis always remember in cutaneous tuberculosis you will see expansion of the lesion or activity in the margin and scarring in the center understood ravi but you will never see scarring in a patient of tinea no scarring okay and if they ask you the common type in children the answer becomes scrofuloderma scrofuloderma clear the answer becomes scrofuloderma which is the common type in children fish tank granuloma is seen secondary to fish tank granuloma also known as swimming pool granuloma swimming pool granuloma where do you see this fish tank or swimming pool granuloma where do you see it very nice drishti dr priya ravi rameshwar lega amazing all of you very well done in sam samira kartik aruna shweta abhi ambuj rp dr giri dr f ruthvi soman bindu very well done all my dear students please remember the correct answer is mycobacterium marinum mycobacterium marinum is the correct answer mycobacterium marinum is the correct answer okay ji now another question or this could be the last question also a pathognomic sign of neurofibromatosis is which among the following neurofibromatosis type 1 we are talking about type 1 here which of the following is the pathognomic sign for neurofibromatosis type 1 amazing all of you very well done but only 40% students or 38% have marked it right axillary frackling is actually the pathognomic it is not cafe au lait macule please remember cafe au lait macule can be seen in tuberous sclerosis macule nevrite 
cocaine syndrome bloom syndrome even in normal individual you can see caffeine so that is not pathognomonic of neurofibroma but axillary freckling you will not see in any other condition other than type 1 neurofibromatosis clear all of you so with this we are done with the today's session i hope you have enjoyed the class i request all my students to please subscribe an academy this is a high time dermatology caters a very good number of questions and i want all of you to start preparing okay ravi the next class will be tomorrow uh, either at 9 am or at 10 am either 9 or 10 am for sure there will be a class tomorrow so i will be posting it soon so please do attend and start subscribing using the referral code change start tell yes for inct ambuj it is tomorrow at 9 or 10 pm that is for inct and this class is also for both theek hai chalo ji so bye bye take care and good day